All right, you don't get me for this video, at least not my face, you just get to hear my wonderful voice. I'm redoing page 25, number three, but with the calculator. So have your graphing calculator, find the stat button. When you press it, it should look like this, and we're gonna press enter again because we want edit. We should see some lists. You might have something, you might not. Uh, tip number one, please don't go up here and delete anything. Just press the delete button to get rid of everything that's in your list. It might take a while. We're gonna be using this a lot throughout the year. Go over here, delete anything that's over there too. These are the answers to some question from some class. Oh well. Now, L1 is our X, L2 is our Y. L1, we're gonna put in the X's from number three on page 25 at the bottom of the page. Hit enter to get into the next entry. Double check your work, triple check your work. It will not work if you don't have everything matching up. Scroll to the right to do L2. And then again, check your work. First, make sure that you have the same number of entries, and then make sure that you have all the right numbers in there. So that was stat edit. You're gonna press stat again. You're gonna to go to the right to calc. This is a line, so we're gonna do linreg for linear regression. Linreg. You're gonna, every calculator is different. At some point, you might be asked what lists you want. So, for your X list, that's where you put your X's, you want L1. For your Y list, that's where you want L2. If you're not seeing this screen or anything like it, I'll show you what to do in class. It's actually quite easy compared to what I have. You don't care about this, you don't care about this, you're just gonna go down to calculate. And what it's gonna do is, it's gonna tell you exactly what your equation is. So it's giving you y equals ax plus b. We call it mx plus b. Here's your a, which is our m. Here's your b. In my class, unless you're told otherwise, I want you to round to the hundredths place. So our answer is going to be y equals 3.05x plus 63.53. That's your equation with the calculator. And now we want to estimate what that's going to be uh, for a female whose humerus is 40 centimeters long. So you're going to do math. 3.05 times 40 plus, I believe it was 63.53, and it's an estimate of 185.53 centimeters. If you remember my last video, which I hope you do, it should have been just a few minutes ago, you'll notice that that's actually very different. This is using the calculator. It is more exact than the estimate we did without the calculator. That's all the stuff you're gonna do at home and take notes on. We have a lot of word problems to do in class. Mm.